hello everybody it's Andrew welcome back to the channel it has been a while since I've done a Cohen chat I've been meaning to film this one for a while excuse me while I just took my coat off. so Chelsea asked me to colour in this one Chelsea Jade Murray and she also asked me to do a picture with the pro markers so I thought why not do both at the same time I am loving the pro markers I'm just going to colour with them and then I'll, I'll go over the top in places do the girls makeup with pencils because I like the way that looks uh, more than I like blending with markers I'm not very good at it I am practicing so I'm going to do so you see the papers in ready this one this is the simpler version I will do the more complicated version another time um, but I'm just going to do this one so it's not quite as busy there's no sequins on her dress though I probably will put some on afterwards so yeah we are going to do this one so welcome everybody if you're new to the channel um, thank you thank you for joining if you're a subscriber thank you for subscribing if you're not why haven't you and yeah if you're um, a returning person thank you for coming back and to keep coming back so for the skin I'm going to use blush uh, which is 0729 um, this is the palest one I think that I, that I like it's a lovely color and these are fast becoming my favorite markers so I'm just going to color her face in and like I said I'll give her some makeup a bit later but I'll uh, I'll do it with with the pencils, probably either the prisms or the polys. I'm not sure yet. So, how is everybody? Are you all doing all right? Are you colouring lots of pictures for Halloween? Are you just colouring general pictures? I don't know. What are you colouring? I'm colouring general pictures at the moment. Um, I have coloured some Halloween. Uh, I'm trying to work through the the Halloween horror books that I have not coloured in yet. So yes, I'm really in, in enjoying it. I've done a few. I guess I'm trying to colour in ones I haven't coloured in before. Try not to order very much. I don't think I'll be buying any supplies this month unless I go to Hobbycraft. Um, and then if I do, I will probably pick up some more pro markers. Um, I have got the swatch chart here. So as you can see, this is the one from Windsor and Newton. And those are the colours I've got. You see I'm missing quite a lot. And there's some more on the back, but there's only a few on the back, which is the metallics and the neons. And I've got two of those. So that's that basically. So I've got that next to me so I can see what I need. But as you see, they go down very nicely. Yeah, they are a more expensive marker pen. If you to buy these individually on Amazon, they're £3.30, I believe, I looked. Uh, in Hobbycraft, which is a UK um, craft spot, something like Joanne's or something like that, they are £2.50 a piece. They do sell some in packs, but not many. Um, other than the metallic and the neon pack, I probably won't be buying packs because... I've already got a couple of a few duplicates which I'm happy with because they are colours I'll use but uh, I'd rather just you know do it as uh, best as I can I shall just pick up a few every time we go to that area. So when I go to Hobbycraft, I'm going to pick up four markers because that's a tenner. Or I'm going to pick up a pack if they've got a pack there. I can order them on the website. So one of the things is, you know, get these vouchers from work. If I ever get any more, I might, I might not. It doesn't bother me. I can get Hobbycraft vouchers so I could order off their website as well, which would be nice. Yeah, I do like these. I like the smell of them as well. Oh, they smell lovely. Mm. 
Yeah. So yeah, I think this is a really pretty picture. So I thought we'd do this one. Got a few, like I said, I've got a few whips on the go from doing various things. And um, so this is uh, lemon, which is oh, find the numbers now. Y seven four seven. It's a nice colour actually. Not that you can see it because it looks a bit greeny, but it is a beautiful yellow. This is lemon. So what have we been up to? Um, went out to lunch yesterday at the Prince of Wales. It was very, very nice. The beef was a bit rare, but uh, I had chicken. Chicken was beautiful. A lovely cheesecake. Very, very nice white chocolate cheesecake. Absolutely beautiful. So that was just nice. Um, and then, that was nice. I went out for a meal for you with my mum and dad because it was their anniversary last week. So I took them out. It was really nice, really nice meal. Um, Paul went out Friday, so me and Jim were on our own. So we were painting and colouring and I was printing things off for her. Peppa Pig pictures, dinosaur pictures and so on. Witch pictures. She wanted a Halloween colouring book, so I've ordered a, a kid's one. She wants to do trees. I guess she wants to do haunted trees. <laughs> but that's fine. I think it's cute that she, she loves colouring. And we'll sit there for ages. Can I go over and print off my Ava Brown books? I've got one to print now. And she, um, oh, she loves it. I've done that as hair, I don't think it is, but it is now. <laughs> And whenever I'm over there printing, she says, print and colour, mummy. And I'm like, yeah, what do you want me to print, Jen? She's like, Peppa Pig or dinosaurs. So I print her some out and I, I print mine out. And she sits and colours while I'm, I, I either colour there with her or I'm just collating the pages. The only problem with these pens is I'm going to have to turn the book around a minute so I can get in to the uh, hair at the edge. <laughs> Hope you don't mind that she's now upside down while I do this bit. So I'm just sorting out all my colouring stuff. Um, I've got some pencils I want to use that I haven't finished swatching. So my plan is after this, before I go and get Jennifer, because I'm actually filming this in the morning because I got the day off, um, I'm going to do a bit more swatching on those pencils so I can use them. I'm trying to swatch everything into a folder. Uh, yeah, it's going alright, getting yeah, there. No. So I'll put the TV on after and sit and swatch and watch some colouring. Oh. But I am trying to buy less this month. I have bought a few. I'm, I don't know, I'm not going to stop buying books. I'm just going to try and cut down on them because I do get all the Ava Brown ones as well. So, well, Jade Summer didn't come up with them last week so that's something. Uh, but the Ava Brown ones obviously I'm on their launch team so I get it for free so I'm very very lucky. I've um, got a couple that I really want to colour in this month because they're uh, Halloween related obviously. And I really want to crack on with it. Now I'm going to go in with a slightly dark yellow. And this one is just Canary. Weiss 367. Just to give it a bit of... Especially around the roots. The ones always have darker roots. I'm just going to go along with the lines there. And then what I'll do is I'll go over it again with the, um, the lemon. I 
but as you can see these markers are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful markers. I mean this is the third picture I've coloured with them now. I've done done one I haven't complete I've completed one and then I've got another one started that I started last night. And it's only because I was doing the hair that I stopped. I can't be bothered to do no more of this, it's taking so long. Um, I'll just go back over again with the lemon. Blend it in a bit. Um, but yeah, I do like these markers. And they are becoming my favourites and I think Although I buy the Ohuhus because they're nice and cheap and I really like them, I've got the whole set of Everblends, another set, and I will be using them up. I will be buying these, I will be collecting these, and I will be replacing these when they run out and as soon as they do. I won't be using them to colour patterns like I do with the Ohuhus. These will be just for proper pictures. The patterns are proper pictures, but you know what I mean. Um, so it'll be for pictures like this rather than the colour my number pages. I don't want to, to waste them and it's not a waste because obviously we are enjoying what we're doing but it can be seen like you know for expensive markers. Oh god that's nice I need a drink. I'm gonna do a dress now. Now it looks like this it could whether or not that's actually part of her dress or a separate thing is hard to say. I'm going to do it as a separate thing, but I um I'll do a dress red because I love red. My favourite colour. This one is Poppy and it's R565. If you wanted to know that. So yeah, I've got a couple of days off this week, so I'm going to do some colouring videos. I'm going to do some eBay work. Today's been tidying up, ready for doing the eBay tomorrow. I've got some cameras I need to test and clean. I've got some clothes I need to measure. I plan on doing that measuring, uh, some of it tonight. I thought it was all on the computer. I've got five items to list. I must get on and do that today. But yeah, it's going to be okay. We're getting there slowly. I want to get back to eBay. A bit more because I haven't been making much money on it because I haven't been doing it although I did have a nice sale on the weekend. Mm, yeah. oh. I think I'm gonna do her stole which does come around like that. I mean, that's why it looks like part of the dress because the way it goes up and round, but I, I'm not sure where it is. I don't know, I haven't decided. It could be because there are some dresses that did have those. So yeah, it probably is. Um, but I, I'm gonna put some glitter on the top of it anyway. So I will do all this bit red. And then I'll put glitter in various places. Well, this is only the second picture I've done in this book, and I think this book is fab. The first one I did was the um, Rosie the Riveter, and I did that on the, the busier page, even though it wasn't very busy because it's just not. And then this one. But when you've got so many books, it is hard to colour in every single book, even if you want to. And I do want to. I mean, I'm trying to just colour in the ones that I haven't coloured in. But I'm, I mean, I'm still doing ones in books I have because I'm doing Halloween stuff. I've got a picture I've nearly finished. I was doing the hoo-hoos. And I just need to put some glitter on it 
small bit of gel pen on certain bits of it and it's done. Hannah Lynn I was using with the Pro Markers, another one of her, her books. I'm just doing the hair and it, it was taking me a while but uh, I will probably finish that one tonight in bed. I like to colour in bed, watching TV. It's hard for me to colour downstairs at the moment because either Jennifer's jumping all over me or Zed is. It's very hard to colour with the cat on me. So I tend to do patterns more or simple pictures downstairs. This is a lovely red. Well, as you can see, the colours are beautiful. I really like them. So uh, some of the pictures I'm practising some blending on uh, with them. But I will put colour over the top of this. I'll put some pen, uh, pencil. But they are ever such nice pen, pens to use. Absolutely stunning. I, re I do really like them. I'll pull the thing back slightly so we can see the bottom of her dress. busy old time lately with um, work's been busy what have I been watching on YouTube been watching anybody new not really there's a film a guy called film oh what's he called picture flicker or something film picker or something any he but he's bought a load of canisters of um, early nitrate film um, so silence probably most likely they think one of them was from 1970, 1917 and there's a fox movie only part of it was salvageable but it's still interesting to see and i love it when they show off these so last night i was just going through watching um videos on nitrate film and how they preserve it how they check it how they store it because it's it is very flammable it, it can just explode you wouldn't smoke near it, you wouldn't take a naked flame near it. If they run them through a projector they have to use a cold light because um, the warm light that they used to use back in the old days could and ha did cause fires to break out in, in the projection room, projection box and um, wasn't very good at all so we uh, I, th I think it's fascinating and I love old movies so I love to sit there and watch about old films and and stuff like that. So as you know, so I am doing my girl, very old Hollywood. I think she's a very old Hollywood looking girl anyway. Not worried about getting anything on earrings because I'm going to go over that in uh, silver gel. Might even use the pen towels on this one actually because that would look pretty smart I think. I haven't got them out, but I'm not expecting to finish this in all in one sitting. It's quite, even though it's one of the simpler pictures, we're already on 20 minutes. And uh, I am not going to do a huge long one. I'm going to do about 40 minutes, 45 minutes, something like that. And then that'll be enough because um, there's other things I need to do before I get Jennifer. And yeah, I need to put some of my colouring supplies away because they're all on my bed at the moment. We'll have some, have some lunch when we get back. I'm tired. I'll probably fall asleep on the sofa this afternoon with Jen now. It's quite tidy downstairs because we had to tidy up yesterday. Um, so I'm sure Jennifer will make me a mess and get all the toys out. I'll be putting them back later on. Uh, I'm just as bad. I get books out, colouring books out, and I don't put them away. Um, and then I've got books everywhere because I've pulled, like for instance, I've pulled out all my Halloween ones but I haven't got anywhere to put them because my shelves are full of other things. <laughs> um, so like, I've got a load of photography books I need to put away. Um, I'm going to keep my photography books up in the attic but because it's too hot I don't go up there but come winter I will go and put them up there. <laughs> but I've cleared off my bedside table because the only thing I really want on my bedside table is my drinks, 
my lamp and some books. Oh, and my, um, I've got a caddy with some uh, writing pens in for if I'm writing my diary or if I'm uh, making notes in my colouring book, uh, journal thing. I'm just listing the, uh, how many pictures I've coloured and how many books I've bought and how many, you know, what pages I've coloured, so just to see. I haven't done any buddy colours uh, this month, don't think I will be doing any at this rate because nobody seems to want to. Ooh, if you want to, let me know. But, oh, I love this red. I don't know how long these last, but we'll find out. But I said I'm not going to stop getting these. If, if, as soon as one runs out, I'll be putting it on my list. And what I'll probably do is I'll have a look at their online colour chart, decide what colours I want when I go to um, Hobby Craft, and I'll see if they've got them. They have got them all online, as far as I can tell, which is great. and I'll uh, get what I can. I, I really like them. I have ordered a case to put them in rather than having them in the plastic. I've thrown all the plastic containers around and I'm actually still storing them. Some of them came in a case which I'm going to actually use to put my doubles and blenders in and uh, some of them have uh, were obviously in plastic things. So I've taken them out uh, of the uh, packaging. I've actually put them in my tin. My uh, oh gosh, what ones was it? Came in. What are they called? Polychromos came in. So it's quite a good deep tin. Like I said, they're beautiful colours. Absolutely stunning. I'm just going to do the mirror. I'm not going to try and do a reflection. So I'm going to use this light blue. It's not really light enough, but it'll do. I've only got a couple of greys as well, so I haven't really got any greys that I could do it with. I usually use the lightest grey I can find. But I've only got like two greys. Well, that's okay. I do like colouring. I do. I think I just find it so relaxing and shut my brain off while I'm doing it, and it's so nice just to sit and put some colour on a page. It never gets boring. I might start one. I think I don't want to colour anymore on this one, and I'll put it down for a bit. But I will go back to it. Even if it's five or six years later in some cases, <laughs> and it is. But I really do like the colouring. So, and there's football on. I think there's football on tomorrow. So, tomorrow I should probably come up and colour. Or I'll colour in the living room. Like I said, it's very hard with Zed for me to colour. Because he just jumps on me. He wants to sit and sleep on me a lot. So, if he's asleep on Paul, that's great. I can, I can colour as much as I want to. So, it goes straight to the bottom. Doesn't it? Yeah. But if he's... If you want to sit on me, it's very, very hard for me to do anything at all because he he just wants to cuddle, which is really nice. I never thought a cat would want to cuddle so much, but he does. He is such a cuddly cat. I mean, he's only a baby, which probably is why, but he does like to snuggle up on me and go to sleep. Sometimes Jennifer wants to cuddle me, so I put him down and I cuddle her instead because there's a point in her getting jealous of him. He's only a cat. I love him to bits. I wouldn't let anything happen to him, but I love her too. And she she likes cuddles. The girl that got her today said, oh, you give the best cuddles, Jen. <laughs> oh, look at 
these colours. So, I don't know what you think. Let me know what you think of these pens down below. Do you like the colours? They are pricey, but I, I, like I said, I got them because they were on offer. They had two, two packs of 12 on sale, so I thought I'm going to pick them up and see what they're like. And I swatched them out briefly and I'd oh, quite like these. I'll see what they can get on Amazon and start buying a few more then. So I've got a good selection. i have a look see what I think one more. Um, greens, I think, or more, more pinks. Just like I said, I'll, I'll make a list of what I haven't got. And take it down and buy a few of the ones I want. I'm mad for reds and things like that. You know me, I love my red. I do love red pens the most. Because I am... Um, I just love red. I've always been my favourite colour has been red. Always. I don't know why. But it, it has always been red. So see, I really like these. But yeah, I think I use the Pentel, well no, the dual hybrid, Pentel dual hybrids on, uh, on uh, the rest of this. So this is hard to see the edge of the way it is, because there's the edge there, but it's got no edge going up. What does it look like on the big one? Okay, so on the big one it goes right across. I'd say it's still the mirror. At least behind it. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Now I know what it is, it's fine. I just had to look at the bigger picture. <laughs> it's funny sometimes when you do that, you think, what on earth is this? It's Jennifer's funny sometimes. She wanted to pretend she was a baby again yesterday, a little baby. So she's drinking out of a baby cup and going goo goo ga ga and crawling all over the floor. She's such a funny girl. Oh. She's a sweetheart. She's a beautiful little thing. So hopefully this week will be nice relaxing week for me doing a bit of eBay and Doing a ton of colouring, I'm hoping. And then Friday, I've got to do my tax return. So they have to be in by the end of January, the following year. So I'm all right, got time. See, that looks like one of those. Oh, it's one of the ones that goes across the top, I think. I'm not sure, I'll look at that in a minute. Yeah, um, I can't remember what I was saying. Yeah, it's got to be in by January 31st next year. But I usually do it. First year, I did it straight away I did it in May as soon as I had my P60 I did it last year I did it in October this year I'm doing it in October because um yeah I haven't been bothered I've got to print it out and all that stuff there we go that, that would actually not be that but never mind look at that a minute oh oh I'm so tired oh it's a hook that's fine so that would be blue behind there it's a hook that, that whatever that is on right Alright, what have we got? How is that? Ruby, this is a nice colour for lips. Ruby is lovely. Oh, 30 minutes. For, it's going to go off in a minute and the battery needs changing, so I'll just do a lips. And then I'll change it out. Right, there won't be a second. Oops. Right, got a few more colours out now so we can carry on. Didn't get myself a brown, that one. I'm just on a quick look now. That's the right one as well. <laughs> there you go, me. So yeah, another 15 minutes. I know that'll be enough for tonight, so. For today. And then we'll do part two. Oh, I've got a sniffy nose on 
Well, like we can't see the stool thing there, so that's okay, don't need that then. Use that for something else. Yeah. I'm going to sneeze in a minute, I can feel it coming on. Damn. <laughs> Excuse me. I keep looking at the page behind so I can see, oh that's the floor, what's that bit going up? Oh that's the coat stand, that's fine. Sometimes it's not obvious what everything is because of the um, the way it's cropped in. Some of it is and some of it isn't so. Right. That one as well. That one. Oops, one just fell on the floor. Nope, that one is. I'll pick it up in a minute. Yeah. Uh, it's just uh, me just trying to sort out what I'm doing because they haven't got a clue as per per usual. So like I said, oh, this is a brush one because some of them are brush markers um, and some of them are pro markers. It just depends on what pack I picked up or ordered from Amazon. So this one's actually a brush. As you can see how nicely that is. So I, I don't mind whether I get brushes or or the marker markers. I, I, I just think they're just lovely pens. They're lovely colours. This is one of the brushes. Just so you can see it. There they are, brush marker. Do that there and that bit there. Oh, there we go. Oops, that's gone on to the other page. That doesn't matter. Oops, that's going all over me. I'm every now and again, I just keep looking back. Yes, okay, just to see what that what's in there and what it is. So I'm going to do the lights now on the thing. I'm going to use Buttercup, it's called. It's a lovely pale yellow. But it'll be perfect for these lights. So you can see, excuse me. There's another one just here. Perfect, lovely. I like that. do the dressing table and this now. Um, really really love this book and these pens are so nice. Oh, yeah, they don't streak at all from but well I can you know Especially if you colour carefully and slowly with them, they do not streak, which is nice. Especially when you're trying to do skin. I hate hate when you're doing skin and you get a, a streaky skin. This is called Putty and this was one of the skin tones. Which is fine, yeah, it's like a tanned colour almost. So yeah, these are such nice pens. actually. Um, I've got a different colour for the inlay and the knobs, so it's big. So after this, um, Somebody did ask for something and I can't remember what it is. I'll have to look back on my comments. But somebody wants me to colour in uh, the Beauty of Horror uh, Haunt of Fame. And they want me to do the Elvis picture. So that's my other favourite person. So I mean, like I said, I want to colour all the pictures and that. So I will be doing that after we've done this one. Because I can't remember the other one. Until I find the other one and then we'll do that one as well. 
and it's um, the Prisma colours go down like butter in that book so I'll be using the Prismas what I used on my Marilyn picture so um, yeah I loved it it just looks so nice so I'm looking forward to doing the Elvis one which is a double page because there's lots of people in it but um, I'll mainly do the Elvis side and then I'll do the rest of it I'll just do the Elvis bit on camera and then the rest off camera so that'll be next so hopefully we'll be finishing this one sometime this week and then crack on at the end of the week, or on the weekend, with Elvis. I said I love that book then. There's so many I want to colour in that book. I've got one on the go in uh, Haunted Playground or whatever it's called. Playgrounds one, number four, three. There have been so many of them. I love them. I, I, as, if you keep producing them, I'll keep getting them. It's that simple. Oh, I couldn't wait for the one, the, the Haunt of Fame to come out because I just love it. And I still got one in the first book, I still have not finished it. And I've, I plan on finishing it this month um, as soon as I can. It's the one with the two heads on the railings. I've done a fair bit more to it, but I just stopped again. Um, so I'm hoping to finish three more Alan Robert pictures this month. And all of them are double pages. So as you can imagine, it's going to take a while. But uh, I am doing my other colouring books as well. Because, well, I need to. Oh, I, know, I know there hasn't been a weekly vlog for the last couple of weeks. It's because I lost my camera. I found it now. Um, I was doing it on the phone. And then I just stopped. Okay. However... I will be doing it again. I have started one this week, so next Monday there will be a weekly vlog out, which is great because I know people like them for some reason. Especially if we're out doing stuff. I don't know if we're going to be out this week. At all. I might go out Saturday. I might just do the shopping because if there's something in the auction I want this weekend, if I'm getting stuff listed on eBay, I don't want to be home for the auction. But I won't know until Friday night. So. I'm starting to get dopey again now. I'm really tired. So what I'll probably do is when we finish this in a minute. Yeah, won't be long. I'll go and swatch and I'll sit in bed and I'll doze for half an hour. It won't be long because I've got to pick Jennifer up at one and it's getting on. I have no idea what time it is, I'll tell you now. Oh my gosh, it's actually ten past twelve, so it is really getting on, so. But that's okay. I don't mind. I just want to do this. I was going to do a couple of flip throughs. So I'll do them in a minute. But you know, I don't have to go and go downstairs till like it's time to almost go. But I do like to go and see Zed before I go out. You lose track of time when you colour in because you're not looking at the clock all the time or watching TV so you know how long you've been colouring because oh this programme's like an hour long or 40 minutes long or whatever. You just completely lose yourself and that's what I like because my brain doesn't stop ticking. Um, I mean at night I have very vivid dreams, very very vivid dreams um, and I can remember quite details about them, um, place names, people numbers they say you can't remember these things but I do um, so my brain's still going while I'm asleep <laughs> but uh, I love I love it so with this I just lose myself and relax and that's probably why I get tired so quickly because I do so much colouring I'm so relaxed I just want to sleep but I've got to get Jen so and like I said if Zed's sitting on me I can't colour I will doze on the sofa. I will take something down to colour. Um, I'm thinking... Oh, that's got to be that colour there. Put that over there. It's fine. 
I'm thinking it's going to be um, something in oh, the Ava Brown Halloween one that came out frightfully cute or something it's called. I got no idea, I can't remember. But um, it's going to be that one I'm going to colour in. I'm just going to finish this bit off and then that'll do, I think, because I am falling asleep here. It's not good. It's not good at all. Like I said, though, I'm so relaxed when I'm doing it. I think that's why I get tired. It's got nothing to do with, you know, Jennifer being around and wearing me out. I'm just so tired from constantly colouring. Oops, you can't actually see that. It's because I've turned the book around like this. I'm going to do glitter border. I don't use washi tape. You might have noticed that. I know a lot of you love washi, washi tape. And I do like it. I think it's really pretty. But I am hopeless at using it. So... And I, I don't like the pattern stuff. If it was just plain, you know, kind of like a, a plain gold or a plain black, I would probably use it. Oh, this is a nice brush one. This is uh, Dusky Pink. Ooh, again, this is one of the uh, skin tones. Well, it came from the skin tone set. There are other ones that would be considered skin tones that aren't in either of the two sets. But oh, it's so different when you use a brush to using a, a marker tip. Both feels nice, but there's just something about this. You just like put it down, it's oh, that's so nice. Excuse me slurping at you, but I thought we'd do it like that. So next time we will finish off the background. There's not a lot left. We'll just do it all in one go. We'll put a bit of um, makeup on her using some uh, polychromos probably or prismas, whichever one's handiest. And then we'll uh, do some glitter on her dress. I might put some in her hair. Or, you know, bits of uh, on her, her jewellery as well, obviously, we've got to do. Now, minutes now, I've got green for this. Back to markers, it's a nice green. I love, I love, look at the colours, they're so beautiful. This one's called Forest Green, and it's just a beautiful colour. I would recommend these pens if you want, if you can afford them and you you want want them. I think the way they laid, I, I colour really fast, so they streak a bit more than if if I coloured very carefully like this all the way through it. But that's me. I still like, I like these. These are my favourites so far. I'm sure if I tried the Copics, I'd like them even better, but they are way out of my price range. Um. So I'll go with these, and I do like them. Yeah. Like I said, don't buy them if you don't afford them. The Ohuhu's are just as good. The Everblends are fine. I mean, we don't get the Caliart or the Tower Tree ones, I don't think. I haven't seen them. So I can't comment on them, but you know, your cheap out colour markers are just as good. Don't think you've got to have the best. You can colour on a budget. You don't even have to buy colouring books if you've got a printer. You can just go on somewhere like the Crayola website. They've got loads of pages on there. I, I That's where I download loads for Jennifer. Go on to the Crayola website. Uh, go to their typing colouring pages. They have got loads on there. Uh, I've got some Christmas and Halloween ones I've just printed off. So I'm hoping to do some of them. Well, the Halloween ones this month and then Christmas I'll be starting next month because we don't celebrate Thanksgiving over here. I can start my Christmas pictures 
in November. I mean, I do them whenever I feel like it anyway, why not, eh? And again, I'll be focusing on books I haven't coloured in, although I will be also colouring in books I have. I must admit, I have ordered a Christmas colouring book. But it is, it's a, a colour by number such and such David one because I thought it looks quite nice. Because I was ordering the Halloween one, so I was ordering the Halloween Mandala one from him, so I thought, oh, do you know what? I'm going to get this one as well. Well, I'll just do this bit of green on this, whatever it is. It's some sort of outfit because it's hanging on a coat hook. It's not a curtain, it could be a dressing gown or something. She's getting ready for a premiere or an award ceremony. Maybe she's going to the Oscars. Who knows, eh? do for today. I'll come back to this in the next one. I'm, I'm loving it. So yeah, there are a few colours I want, mostly greens, I think. I feel I'm a bit short of the greens. So I think I'm going to get some greens. Got something else there, it's a jacket. There we are. So yeah, it's just over 45 minutes. Let's have a look at what we've done. I'll turn it around this way so we can see it. And whoops, my hand. We'll zoom out. There we go. That's what we've done so far. Most of it. So in the next episode, we'll do the little flowers here. There's a bit up here to do. And we'll do these bits on her dressing table. Then we'll come in and we'll give her some nice makeup here. And then we'll just go in with some glitter pens. We'll put some glitter in her hair. Um, obviously we've got her earrings to do, my nails broken. Um, her jewellery down here. And I want to put some Pentel jewel, jewel hybrids on her, her dress, particularly on this wrap part. I might use a normal glitter pen, just put some sequin, odd sequins on. But that's it so far. I hope you've enjoyed this colouring chat. Let me know what you think of the pictures so far. Let me know what you think of the pens. And I will see you in the next one very, very soon. Thanks, everybody. Bye.